Hi, today's video is a tag video and I hope you stick around and watch my black and orange collection. First I'd like to thank Gwenny VLV for tagging me. Thank you. And I'm just going to run through it pretty quick because I'm going to do bags and SLGs because I just want to. So my first bag is my oh my god, oh my god. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Chanel Jumbo Classic flap in the caviar leather. I just love this bag. I need to use her more, but I just love this bag. And I don't see myself getting rid of her ever. You know, I went through a thing where I was like, I'm gonna, I'm not using it enough, I'm gonna get rid of it, but no, I'm not. Yeah, that's, that is my favorite girl. Well, no, actually I lied. She's my favorite Chanel bag. Now, this is another. This is the Chanel Coco Handle. I'm not sure if this is a medium or what size she is, but she's beautiful. And the reason she's not my favorite is that she leans. When you set her down on something, although she has four feet, she leans all the time. There's nothing that anyone can do about it and it drives me nuts. But that's why she's not number one, because she leans. And when I store her, I actually have her stuffed with a Ziploc bag or a space saver bag of rice to try to tilt her back, and it's not working. So she just leans, and that's just what she is. But she's beautiful, and I'm not getting rid of her, so that's that. Okay. And next, I'm just pulling off the floor, which is spotless and lined with um, dust bags just so you know. Next is the Louis Vuitton Noe GM in epi leather. Beautiful. She is so convenient to just grab and go and fill her up but she does get a little heavy if you fill her up too much but she's beautiful and I want to get another one of those um, metal tags on it but we'll see. We'll see. I probably will, but we'll see. So, no feet, but beautiful, a big empty pit. So, that's her. And I have the monogram in GM, and I still have not used her. She is still getting a good tan in my kid's old bedroom. I'll point it there. And I want to give her such a good tan that there's no way that she can get a water spot or a stain. So I think a few more weeks because the sun isn't hitting perfectly in that room like it normally does. But she's right on point. Okay. So next, <sighs> me and my good friend Amy met up with Kim, Will, and Sarah in New York and my good friend Jason in New York. And we went looking for the, a bag, and they didn't have it, didn't have it, didn't have it. And we were in Saks, and Sarah said, oh, here it is, right over here. After the lady said, oh, no, we don't have it. And this is the Christian Louboutin. I want to say it's called the Palaz bag. Typical, red on the sides, but mostly a black bag. Beautiful bag. And I love that these are studded but not painfully spiky because if I'm wearing it this way and it's knocking against you it's not painful I wouldn't like it if it was like super spiky and painful so if you look closely the spikes are kind of squared off on the top and they're flat actually so it makes her a very comfortable bag and she is beautiful and I love that you can wear her you know a little edgy or just a little plain whichever one you're in the mood for now, my last black bag is gonna be a classic, and say it ain't so, it's a Louis Vuitton Speedy in FB leather. I wish this bag came as a bandolier. That's, I, I wanna say that's probably why I don't wear it as much as I should. It's just because there's no strap. And I know I could do the here and here thing, but I don't like the way it wears on it, and I just wish it came with a strap but I do love this side pocket so it's kind of like one of those things that 
it wouldn't be a true bandolier if it had a pocket. So, or maybe if they just did something right there. I don't know. But I do love this bag and she is gorgeous. So, there we go. And now on to SLGs. And then I'll do orange. This is the cutest rough and tumble, throw on the ground, don't care who put their hand in your bag, Vera Bradley little cosmetic pouch. She has been with me for years and I love it. I love the fact that this is my everything bag. I don't care if she gets damaged because I can just, you know, put a little soap and water on it and keep moving. She's not fragile. She's cotton. And what I really like about it is the fact that she is black on the inside because a lot of Vera Bradley stuff has that um, multicolored rainbow stuff on the inside and I didn't want that and this is just black on black and the zipper black too so the only color to it is on the little tab where it's white and the silver Vera Bradley right there but other than that she's just grab and go easy easy my next one, mm, mm, mm. Saint Laurent. I love this holder. It's a card holder. It's a bill holder. It's an everything holder. I can actually put my phone in it. So sometimes I'll slide my phone in here or in here and then put a credit card, my ID, and my COVID card inside and that's it. And what I also like about it is the fact that it pretty much goes with everything. You know, black and gold is pretty much a staple. And I definitely use this with my Chanel and Louis Vuitton items. And she's just beautiful. And she is going to segue me into the card holder. Between Chi Chi Lux and Will McCasey. I want every color, you know, and I don't have a lot of, the, well, actually I do. I have more than I need, but I want more because of those two clowns. So there we go. It is a ride or die. Stick it in your pocket, stick it in your bag, stick it in your hand. It is such an easy, carefree card holder. I would say this is the reason I don't have a Chanel card holder because this one's perfect just the way it is. And I think that Chanel's lambskin leather might be a little too soft because the blue one that I do have is a little soft and I'm like, mm, it's a little delicate. But this, this is it. So those are blacks. And my copied my husband card holder. And I copied him on the key holder too, which I didn't bring out, but you know what it looks like. So. I got it for him for his birthday and then next thing you know I had to have one too so it's basically the six screen key holder and it looks just like this and but this is the card holder and last but not least is my Chanel card holder beautiful beautiful I'm so glad I got this and I'm so glad I got it before the ridiculousness that is there price increases will I stop buying Chanel probably not you know I think that it will just be farther and fewer between because it's gonna have to be really special for me to crank out you know that much it's just it's just gonna have to be a really special day or a special bag or something so now it is time for my orange which is short so I'm not gonna make this video you know 30 minutes just to show you a couple of things in orange this is my orange Louis Vuitton Noi GM and I got this tag specifically for this bag because I wanted it stamped in silver to match the hardware and this is the lucky cat and the Hawaiian flower, if you can see it. There we go. So, whew, sorry I'm sweating. It is, it's a hot day in Hawaii today. Um, I digress. I'm sure you know that I got this 
just to go with this. I love a matchy matchy. I don't know why and I don't care. And for those who say SOGs are a waste of money, they're a waste of your money. You know, I I just ignore it when people say, oh, you could have bought this or you could sell all of those and get that, you know, but then I would look inside and I would be constantly thinking, oh, I wish I had the matching, you know, whatever it was, the key holder, the card holder, the cosmetic pouch. So for those of us who are matchy matchy, you get it. And my last orange item is just the same reason, basically because I do like orange and I wanted it to go inside of here. I was wishing it would be a little bit more epi colored so it would be a complete match, but it's close enough to make me happy. So there we go, that's that. And actually, that's not all. I just haven't done an unboxing yet to add a couple more blacks, but we'll get there. And I used to have mostly black bags for a long time and then I just started with the blue and then you know just dropping in more color but black was my number one jam for years and years like you never saw me without a black bag so I definitely have plenty and not all of them are luxury but I just love black so there you go and I think that's it so thank you Winnie B LV for tagging me um i'm sorry i'm slow on all the tags and i hope you all have an amazing halloween i hope you dress up i hope you eat lots of candy i hope you you know take your kids trick-or-treating i hope that all the costumes are fun and exciting and i'm gonna throw in a picture or two of some halloween costumes from our past we didn't dress up this year because covid is still real here and we're not going out. You know, if kids come to the house, great, I've got plenty of candy. I bought five bags of candy, those big bags of candy. So hopefully we'll get some trick-or-treaters. If not, I'll take it to work and just let those guys have it. But I hope that you stay safe, stay kind, and spread some aloha. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time.